We are at Petoskey State Park in, <clears throat> in uh, July, uh, July 11th, 2017, and I'm talking to Dave here, fellow R-Pod owner. Dave's got a nice 2016 R-Pod 179, just like mine. Uh, mine's just a year newer, but uh, really cool stuff. Really love mine, and uh, Dave likes his a lot, too. But amazingly, Dave, we got it at the same place, at Labadee, right? Yes, <laughs> no, we did. I, That's right. Got a good deal at Labadee's. Right, and what I what I noticed walking by here earlier, Dave, was that you have this interesting canopy setup, right? Yeah. And I want to kind of walk through that. So maybe we can just walk over here and talk sure. about it a little bit. So one of the things, I mean, there's an R-Dome, and I know that you tried the R-Dome. It was a little yeah. difficult to mess with, and... Uh, there's a lot of people who have R pods and they, you know, they don't want to spend the money on the R dome or whatnot, right? And a little bit tough to clean, yeah, and I, all that. So tell me a little bit about this setup because it looks pretty interesting to me. Well, uh, so that everybody knows, I got the originally got the idea from somebody on the R pod uh, forum. Okay. And then I took what his idea was, and I think I made improvements to make okay. it much better. All right. Uh, basically, with this year's, I think they went to a. Uh, larger channel than previous the old that's ones. right yeah they are pretty large yeah and, and so what i have is if i remember right this is a 9 16 nylon rope i got okay lows. okay i got a little more extra than what i needed right and you're tying it down on your uh I, crank I got, here i threw a clove hitch on which is a good knot right on my on here and i have a um string to pull it through okay so that's so how you get it through the channel right i you get push it, through, it i can stand on the ground and do this i right. need a ladder and this Tupperware container uh -huh. holds the entire canopy. So you fit it all in there, right? Stakes, ropes, and canopy all goes in there. Excellent. And uh, so what happens is my wife feeds it out of the Tupperware to me, and I pull it with the string that's walking right. across the front of the R pod and take it down. Right. And tie it here. Yeah. And we tie it to the spare tire. In right. The back. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. So. But it's pre-threaded in. It's it's already pre-threaded into the into the loop of the nylon, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's all set already. Right? Yeah, I just put. Well, you had to do that originally, though, right? The first time you got the tarp, you had to feed it through. Right? I did, but it doesn't stay. Okay. I take the in. We take this, put this up in ten minutes, rope and all, and take it down in ten minutes. Right. And I'm not sure if that clarifies what you were asking, but. So I take my green string that I showed. Right. Yep. And I walk across the front of the R-Pod and my wife feeds it and I'm pulling the string through the channel. Then yep. the rope comes through. Follows through, right. And you just pull gentle and it'll come right on through. And um, the canopy here we got from REI Camping Supply. Okay, yeah. Sure. And um, we bought it from them and I had issue with the grommets pulling loose after the first rainstorm okay. up here. Got it, right. So I took this to yep. a, um, the same gentleman that sewn in my uh, rope. And this, I want to talk about the rope a little sure. bit. That's yeah. okay. We can go back. Yeah, no to problem. I took this to an upholstery shop. He makes a, he does upholstery. Right. And canvas enclosures for cabin cruiser boats. Yeah. So he sewn the rope in. And what you can see is it just, it just, folded one end under right and sewn along he right. did not sew the canopy to the rope the right. full length just on the ends okay but we're stitched up tight got with it their pleat. so that's a, that was one of my questions dave because i thought you know is this is this just a canopy with a loop that you had to feed things through but you actually had someone pull the rope through sew it in so it's, yeah, it's pretty much like in there. 20 bucks to sew it while i was waiting okay wow and, and good deal he stitched it to the rope on just on each end mm -hmm. but it overlaps the rope it is put like a hem right i can all, see that yeah all the way down yep and um yeah i can see see that that it's sewn in there that's great yeah, yeah. so it's not going to move on you no it won't move basically yeah okay it won't great. move because the, the rope pulls it tight the rope i have on each end pulls it tight to the trailer you can see it's it's tight here yeah right now that's that's really nice nice and taut so originally with this particular tarp the grommet started pulling through right so i went back to the same guy and he right. reinforced it with yeah, it looks with like you got boat canvas yep. at the three points where i have a pole right and what i'm going to do is eventually when this tarp wears out i'm going to get the whole tarp made out of the canvas because it'll yeah last that's for right years. exactly yep 
So at any rate, I got the poles from Bass Pro. Okay. Ordered yeah, I was wondering line. about that. And the reason they're at an angle is on the ropes don't do not have much. Um, uh, it's the travel or the the adjustment is only is very narrow. Right. So I had to put the poles on an angle because I put these all the way down. The poles. Right. It looks like yeah. Okay. It's bottomed out. There's about a foot of adjustment. Mm -hmm. So I put them, I had to put the poles on an angle, which really worked out well. It allowed me to get a good pitch to the roof. Oh, yeah, right. Because any water is going to roll right off the sides, right? Exactly. So, yep. Then I, um, so the, the center pole straight up and down. The two end poles, I'm only 5'9, so that kind of gives you a height. Right. And, a high. Yep. and um, I run tent stakes in. Mm hmm. These are just ropes that I picked up to make uh, to, to make a tie down. Yep. And we kept tripping over the end, so I put these are pool. Yeah, I was floaties. I was wondering about the floaties. So kind of interesting. Pool, pool floaties to keep us from walking into. And they're bright things. green, so you're not going to trip exactly. on them, right? <laughs> right. Uh, now, the nylon rope, the white mm -hmm. nylon I got at Lowe's. Okay. I learned that it stretches horribly. Okay. I have this is what I got this at a wildlife art show, and it's rope that they use to tie out duck decoys right it's a little pricey but it will not stretch okay cool so i gotta wow. get some more of this to, to, well, to get rid of the white ones yeah let me come around the front here if you don't mind have a look like straight on in but that's that's a nice setup yeah really um, nice we so been, how, how big is the tarp how far out does by, it come it's nine by twelve so it's twelve this way right, right. wide nine coming out from the trailer exactly right? okay yeah that's a that's a nice nice porch area it really is so uh, when we have a new, the tarp made by the, the upholstery mm -hmm. fellow, I'm going to make it just about the full length of the track, minus right. maybe a couple inches on each side. Yeah, because you're what, about a foot short on each side on of the each track? Side. Yeah, yeah, right. Still, it's got a, it's a nice look. I mean, it caught my eye, caught my eye immediately when I went by it, you know, being a fellow art potter, I realized, like hey, this is a nice mod. So. And I can tell you, hard driving wind, uh, rain, blowing mm -hmm. wind, we've been in all of that. And it's still up when I get up in the morning. There's no bellies where yeah. the water's gathered. Right. It, yeah, I that's got such important. a pitch it runs right off. Yep. It pours off both corners actually. That's great. Yeah. So nice Bass job. Pro for the poles, REI for the top, or go see your local canvas shop and have them make you a tarp. Yeah, that's a great idea. And thanks for talking to us about it, Dave. You're welcome. Appreciate it. All right, have a good night.